Hi everybody, this is Jackson Gemmel. I'm here with Sam Fikel of Corley Strong First Mortgage, and he's going to explain to us the difference between an FHA and conventional loan. Yeah, there's hundreds of different loan programs out there, but when it comes to first-time home buyers, some of the top programs that you're gonna be looking at is FHA and conventional. Now, some honorable mentions, VA loans are awesome for veterans. About 80% of my business is VA, and so if you can qualify for that, then by all means, go for it. USDA is cool because there's no doubt payment, but there's a lot more requirements as far as fitting into the perfect box to qualify for a USDA loan. And there's geographic limits and income limits and stuff like that. And so in general, the, for most people, you're gonna be looking at conventional versus FHA. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. When it comes to first time home buyer benefits, giving a special promo for being a first time buyer. FHA actually does not have any special thing for first time buyers. It's a program that's overall geared towards first time buyers, but it doesn't, it's just as available to move up buyers and previous homeowners. Conventional does have some benefits if you're a first time buyer. It allows you to put as little as 3% down without having any limit to your income. As far as rates go, FHA typically is going to have a lower note rate, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the loan is gonna be more affordable. And so you might see um, slightly lower rates on FHA compared to conventional, but there's more to consider specifically around mortgage insurance. Since FHA administers their own mortgage insurance, it's going to be the same rate for everybody. And so um, that's going to be 0.55%. You don't need to necessarily know this, but it's fixed for everybody. Mortgage insurance on conventional is going to vary depending on your credit score, down payment, number of borrowers, whether you're a first time homebuyer or not, and a couple other factors there. And so depending on how everything else works out, your interest rate might be lower on conventional, but your mortgage insurance rate could be low. Wait, did I say your interest? Your interest rate could be lower on FHA, but the mortgage insurance rate could be lower on conventional. Also, while we're talking about mortgage insurance, FHA has something called an upfront mortgage insurance premium that conventional doesn't. This upfront mortgage insurance premium is 1.75% of the loan amount that's financed into the loan is negative equity. So when you put your 3.5% down payment, you don't have 3.5% equity in the house. You actually have about 1.77% equity because of this upfront fee that's financed in there. And so that's a, just a fee that you don't pay out of pocket, but it's still a, a cost of getting a loan. Then we talk about appraisal. A lot of agents tend to favor conventional appraisals because they're under the impression that conventional allows anything and FHA doesn't allow anything. That's not true. FHA is a little bit more strict when it comes to minimum property requirements. However, conventional still requires that the house be livable and safe for somebody that's very young or very old. And so uh, when it comes to big ticket items, it issues with the house, it doesn't matter. Both loans are going to be protecting the consumer by requiring that those be fixed. But for little stuff like exposed wiring and handrails on the, on a more than two steps, FHA is going to be a little bit more annoying about that. I'll just say strict, yeah. Um, and then conventional is more lenient. As far as loan limits go, now as a first-time home buyer, you're probably looking for an affordable home. But there are plenty of first-time buyers out there that make great money that can afford a more expensive home. FHA's loan limit is four hundred ninety-eight thousand. Now that's the loan limit. That if you Minimum 3.5% down payment that translates to a purchase price of about $515,000. Conventional's loan limit is much higher. It's $766,550. You just say $766. That translates with your 3% down payment that translates to a purchase price of $790,000. So, like I said, not a lot of first time buyers are buying in the $500,000 range, but if that applies to you, then you're either going to need to make a larger down payment to fall under that four ninety eight figure or you need to go with a conventional loan. And that brings us to the underwriting, the last bit here, really bit important part. Underwriting on an FHA loan, specifically around income and employment, is more <laughs> involved, I'll just say that. FHA likes to have a lot more stability, a lot more, um, uh, they like to do the two-year average no matter what kind of thing. Now, when it comes to conventional loans, the agencies give underwriters a lot more discretion, meaning if it makes sense, then they'll usually let it go through. I'm going to say discretion. 
So those are some of the main differences between FHA and conventional loans. I wanna really stress, this is for your information only, right? It's not meant for you to diagnose which option is best for you. That's my job. As a loan officer, when I take your application, I'm gonna be looking at your credit, your income, your assets, and every other aspect of your file to determine which option is best for you and presents the overall lowest cost. And again, these are just a few differences. If you go to my blog, samficalcom slash blog, you'll see an article on there that's exactly this conversation, FHA versus conventional loans. It's got some videos embedded in there with some charts and graphs, a lot more information if you'd like to learn more. And if you wanna know more about what kind of loan options you qualify for, you can go to my website, again, samficale.com, hit the apply now, and I'll be happy to talk to you later. There you have it, that was Sam Fikel, and this is me and myself, Jackson Gemmel. And if you're in the market to buy a house and you wanna see what you can apply for, reach out to Sam first of all, and then me to see what house is right for yourself.